Hey, what's up, YouTube? Promaker Dev here with another video on the top seven CSS tricks that I'm pretty sure you didn't know about part two. Now, if you didn't watch part one, which I'm pretty sure you didn't because I only have 37 subscribers in my YouTube channel and they're all pretty much my family and friends. But if you didn't watch part two, I mean, if you didn't watch part one, you should definitely take a look at it because it has some pretty awesome tricks on CSS. Gotcha, baby. Trick number three. This trick will teach you how to create this very, very cool uh, scroll transition that you usually see. Let me just show you an example right here. So this is a, a oh, I'm sorry about that ad. That's pretty disrespectful. Um, so this is, this is the dictionary. Cambridge dictionary is pretty popular. Just Googled pizza here. And when you scroll down, you can see this, um, this button right here to top. When you click on it, it just takes you to the top with a very cool transition. So we have a trick for that um, in CSS, and it's going to take you literally like one line. Okay, so it's a very worth it trick. So to uh, to show you the example, I've got nothing here, by the way. Um, I'm going to start creating sections, okay? So I'll create my first section, uh, section, and I will give it an ID. Uh, section one and then here I'll just put a lorem and I'll duplicate this oh shit um four times did I do four times one two three four yeah that's four <clears throat> now I'll just change the section two three and four <clears throat> now refresh we got four of them right here now we're gonna go to our CSS and I'll just get rid of the padding. This is like, I really need to do that. Padding zero, margin zero. Okay, now we don't have them. Okay, so now I'm gonna target all of the sections that I have created, not like, like I'm gonna target all of them and I will give them a height of 100 viewport height. Okay, so this is 100 viewport height. For each section, um, it will give it this 100 view height, no matter what its uh, ID is. So I'll do dash section one, okay? And I'll give it a background a little pink, okay? And I'll duplicate this four times, uh, section two, section three, section four. And the first one is going to be pink, second one is going to be green. I like the light green though. Uh, the third one is going to be a yellow, just uh, pulling colors out of the hat. Red, all right, all right, that's so cool. We got, for each section, we have gave it a height and a color. Now, I'm gonna go back to my HTML and I will go to the last section. I will create, I will create a button right about here. Delete the name, I don't need the name. And right inside here, I will create an anchor tag. Uh, anchor tag href. For now, I'll just do this so that it won't take me anywhere. And inside of here, I'll do uh, to top. So if I go here, you can see that it's it's to the top. I can I can position it right here. It's it's not our problem for the moment. <clears throat> um, so when you click on it, it won't it won't take you anywhere. It just takes you to the hash. Now. I want it to take me to the top, which is the first section, right? So instead of just doing this hash, I will delete this hash and I will uh, take this ID, the first section's ID, um, and I will do hash, which, which stands for ID, and then I do section. So refresh, let me get rid of this. Okay, re refresh, go all the way down, click on it, and it will take me to the first section. But there is no transition. That's 
what this trick is all about. It's all about the transition. Now, I'm going to go to my CSS, and I will come right here in the star so that I can uh, target the whole file, the whole HTML file, whatever. Um, and I will do this very cool property that's called scroll behavior, and I will set it to smooth. And that's going to do the trick, buddy. Okay, um, I'll go down, say I'm scrolling, oh, to the top. I click on it and it will take me to the first section with a very cool transition on it. Oh my god! Wow! Very cool, right? Trick number four. Have you ever started working on a project and then when you're done, when you're finished with the whole project, you kind of notice this scroll bar in the bottom of the screen that takes you, that does this thing, kind of scrolls down, uh, scrolls horizontally, and it shows you this very um, ugly, disgusting space in in the side, right? So there have to be a reason for this. It has to be a bug, and the code is like so messed up, and you you don't want to go back and like try to figure out where the bug is. Well, we got a we got a solution for that, buddy. We got a trick, a CSS trick that is going to help you out solve the problem. Um, I know that some of you might know this, but the majority don't. I, I don't know. <laughs> you tell me down in the comments, all right? So, um, I have created this this uh, this thing for for the example, and we got this scroll right here. I'm going to show you the code. Now, don't freak out. This is just a, a div with a class of text uh, copy-pasted six times, and we got the BR, the break line breaking line, whatever the, whatever it is called, um, so that we can, you know, make a little scroll, right? So we have, I have created this div on purpose, this, this, just to show you, um, the, you know, just to make that space, that scroll down, uh, the scroll, the horizontal scroll, whatever. So this is the div. I gave it a width of 110 view port width, just to create this scroll right here. Now, say I don't I don't know what it is making that scroll right here. So I'm going to apply the CSS trick. I'm gonna go here to my CSS. This is going to be very short, okay? It's very, um, very cool. Okay, so I targeted everything by making that star symbol, and right here I'm going to do overflow, overflow X, okay? Overflow X, and I'm going to set it to hidden. And that simply is going to get rid of the scrolling bar. That's very cool. I mean, I mean, it's kind of cool, right? It's very simple, very, um, very simple and, and effective. All right, that's the end of the video, guys. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up because I really need that freaking thumbs up. No, seriously, you should definitely give it a thumbs up because my videos are not reaching nobody. I go on YouTube search, I type my my exact video's title, and I'm like, where is my video? Where is my video? But I think that's pretty fine because I'm just starting out. If you like my videos, please subscribe to my channel because it's going to be a huge support. I really need your support, guys. If you have any questions, comment down below in the comments and I will answer your questions. Ciao.